After Coventry, Carter's next hurdle was the overseas final at Bellevue, Manchester, against the best riders from America, Australia and New Zealand. Since the British final, the leg has been playing up. One of the pins worked loose, so every race is an ordeal. And it was swiftly evident that his rivals weren't going to give him an easy passage. Carter in blue here in his first ride and survives a really tremendously hair-raising first corner. They all pile in together. Carter gets a knock, comes around the outside. You see Sean Moran just jumps into the front here in the red helmet colour. But Kenny peeling off into second place really knew at this stage that he had a battle on to qualify through from Bellevue, Manchester. Moran in front, but Carter hanging on for two points, and that's a useful start to his campaign. The old bulldog spirit came through in the second ride when he boldly got up from a long way back to challenge eventual second place rider Phil Crump. He's in the white helmet. Crump, uh, seeing Carter coming from nowhere, moves swiftly back inside, and it could well be the leg was making its effect there. Carter looked a bit uh, tentative as he came into his third ride. He's on the outside here in the yellow and black helmet color. Dave Jessup on the inside in red makes his customary fast start as they all bunch to the corner. It is Carter's courage and tenacity that shows again around the outside, finding the drive, moving up around the outside of Jessup as they hit the pit corner, something like 80 mile an hour here. He loses his helmet colour, gets around the outside. Alan Graham comes through on the inside. He's in the lighter coloured helmet as well. Carter in front, Alan Graham in second place. Those two will go to Tavoyens, the Intercontinental Final. Only three Englishmen left, Simon Wiggis the third, in an event won by Lance King and Kenny Carter heading the British Challenge, but clearly still in trouble with that leg. It really is painful for him. Uh, this has definitely been the worst, you know, the worst round for me. I've had more pain today than I did at, even at Oxford when, you know, that was only four weeks after the accident. So I'm going to go back to the hospital um, tomorrow morning and, you know, see what's the problem because it's, you know, really giving me some pain today.